like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. 10 Terrifying Sightings of Bigfoot One of the biggest mysteries in the world is the tale of Bigfoot and Sasquatch. Every year, thousands of reports are made documenting experiences between people and large, hairy, bipedal humanoids. These sightings occur all over the world. Barmanu, Skunk Ape, Mandu Barang, Ban Maresh, and Orang Pandek. Whew. If we missed a name people have given to this slippery bugger, let us know in the comments below. In the last 25 years, a large number of organizations have been developed with the goal of scientifically proving the existence of Bigfoot. DNA samples, footprints, pictures, and video evidence have been collected and examined in order to develop a profile of the creature. With the modern expansion of technology, the number of videos claiming to have captured Sasquatch are growing. So, without delay, let's get started with some of the most terrifying sightings that have been reported from across the globe from none other than Bigfoot. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 10. Siberian Sasquatch In 2009, a Russian documentary was released on Bigfoot in Siberia. The film has become notable for the inclusion of a three-second long clip that shows an unexplained hominid. Siberia makes up 77% of Russia's territory, and the mountain ranges of Siberia have a long history of Sasquatch encounters and modern-day sightings. The documentary shows a large humanoid figure that strongly resembles the Sasquatch profile. It was filmed by an unnamed person. In the footage, the creature is spotted as the camera is moving away from the scene. The figure was not noticed in the clip until it was later reviewed. The object has a uniform color, a cone-shaped head, long arms, and a ridge down the spine with patches of no hair. Considering that the figure was not seen until a later date, it appears to display intelligent movement. As the camera is turned from the area, the Sasquatch then decides to walk away. The tape shows a quick sequence that has been highly criticized. However, the humanoid has the characteristic white feet and abnormal gait seen in other Sasquatch videos. It also appears to be walking with an inline step and is traveling along a strategic ridge. Number 9. Estes Park Bigfoot in 2007, a man named Jim Holder and his son captured video of an unexplained hominid walking in Estes Park, Colorado. Estes Park houses the headquarters for Rocky Mountain National Park. Unfortunately, the clip was taken with a cell phone, which gives it very poor viewing quality. The Bigfoot encounter was published by many Colorado newspapers with claims of a genuine Sasquatch video. However, upon release of the footage, Jim Holder and his family received a large number of abuse over speculation that the tape was a fake. The clip shows an auburn-colored Sasquatch taking 12 steps through the forest. As the figure crosses the woods, it makes a sudden stop behind a tree. The movement is intriguing because it appears that the creature performs a skilled tree peek. In the slowed down footage, the humanoid can be seen dropping down and peering around the tree from a lowered position. It then quickly rises and continues to walk away. The long arm length and cupped hands of the Sasquatch are visible. It has a uniform color, a rise and fall step, a clear coned head, and a visible mid-tarsal break. Similar to other Sasquatch videos, the creature displays tree hiding, peeking, and grabbing. It has a clear compliant gait, which means that the figure walks with bent legs. As the front leg hits the ground, it is bent, unlike anything a human can perform. Before the footage was captured, Jim Holder described a collection of bizarre noises. He also reported looking into the creature's dark, shadowy eyes. Number 8. Bigfoot Hunted by a Helicopter Not really scary for us, but it seems like the tables have turned. On February 17, 2011, a video was posted to YouTube with the title, Bigfoot Hunted by Helicopter. It was filmed in an unknown location, and the original upload included the message, quote, My husband and I took our kids target shooting. A helicopter was over our heads the entire time annoying us. We thought at first they were curious of why and what we were shooting. Later when we watched the video, we noticed something that looked like Bigfoot running in the trees. We assume now the helicopter was hunting the Bigfoot, end quote. All right. Let's have a fun discussion about world governments destroying evidence of Sasquatch. If you dig into the Bigfoot archives, accounts do exist of helicopters and armed agents forcing people to recant certain Sasquatch statements. Some of the most famous conspiracy theories are based around natural catastrophes, such as large fires or volcanic eruptions. Anyways, the point is, the helicopter could surely be from one of the government agencies hunting down the creature. This is an impressive sequence and consistent with other Bigfoot clips that show Sasquatch traveling on all fours when startled. As the object moves across the screen, a large and sprawling jump can be observed. The jump is reminiscent of two famous Sasquatch videos, the 1996 Memorial Day footage captured in Washington State, and a video titled Bigfoot in the Backyard by a Stream. 
The backyard video is a 36 second long clip of a juvenile Sasquatch running. In the footage, the creature shows incredible athletic ability. Which brings us to number seven, New York Juvenile Sasquatch. One of the most well-known Bigfoot videos was captured by Robert Pridgen at Lambeau Lake Campground in the U.S. state of New York. In 1996, a festival was being held at Lambeau Lake, and a large collection of people gathered for camping and fun. One of the groups was filming around the fire and captured some bizarre behavior in the trees. The footage of the creature wasn't discovered until six years after the event. In the clip, a figure can be seen lifting a smaller creature up into the trees. The larger object is on camera for 14 seconds, while the juvenile is visible for 44 seconds. The video gives a good analysis of the event and shows a stabilized version of the action. Number 6. Bigfoot and IMAX The Great North is a 2001 documentary that was filmed in the IMAX format, which is a detailed account of the Inuit people who lived off the frigid landscape of the Arctic North. The documentary was filmed near Inukjuak on Hudson Bay in northern Quebec and also in Ontario. Great North has gained notoriety for a brief clip of an unexplained animal shown 9 minutes and 18 seconds into the film. The creature can be seen running alongside a herd of caribou as they flee up a steep hill. The animal appears to be a solid black color and has a gorilla-like stride. The footage was filmed in Ontario, Canada, where gorillas and chimpanzees do not live. The video was captured with an advanced IMAX camera and has the capacity to record and display images at a far greater size and resolution than conventional film systems. For starters, the video that we have included shows a zoomed-in version of the sequence. The original clip was taken a much farther distance. In the original video, the creature is very small, but the capabilities of the camera allow for a clear expansion. The scene in question shows footage of a great caribou migration. In the background of the shot, not far from where the caribou are running across a large stream, a black figure emerges from an unseen ditch and runs parallel to the undulates for a short distance before ducking down and disappearing from view. The creature can then be seen making a 90 degree turn to the left and traveling up the hill. Number 5. The Florida Sasquatch In May of 2008, a video was taken in Mayaka City that shows a large humanoid creature. The footage was posted to YouTube under the title, Three Clips of Sasquatch. Each clip shows a different portion of a Bigfoot encounter. The tape is similar to other Sasquatch videos, but no full body image is ever captured. For this reason, along with the fact that the footage was not posted in one continuous segment, it raises immediate concerns over authenticity. The video begins with a figure sitting on the ground behind a large tree. The creature is well aware of the human presence and is getting ready to flee the scene. The first clip captures the humanoid rising to its feet. It is an explosive motion and the creature doesn't use its hands to get up. As the figure rises, a frame-by-frame -frame analysis gives good detail of the subject's palm and facial profile. The second clip shows the Bigfoot slowly walking away. At this point, it becomes suspicious that the filmmaker can't keep the camera still. However, the examined footage confirms a Sasquatch profile on many levels. Number 4. Prince Edward Island Video Prince Edward Island is a Canadian province and island located in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, west of Cape Breton Island, north of the Nova Scotia Peninsula, and east of New Brunswick. It is the 104th largest island in the world. In 2005, a student named Nathan Wiley and some friends were in the forest on Prince Edward Island filming a video for school. Wiley needed a clip in which a person was seen running from the woods. According to the filmmaker, as the boy in the clip was moving from the trees, a huge ape-like creature emerged from the opposite side of the forest. The creature can be seen running across the scene at a high speed. It should be noted that the person in the video is not running from the Bigfoot, but rather filming a scene. The circumstances surrounding the video are controversial. It was filmed for a student project in an area with few previous Bigfoot sightings. However, the tape confirms the Sasquatch profile on many levels. What do you think? Could this be our hairy elusive friend? Number 3. Tatra Mountain Yeti The Tatra Mountains are a range of mountains that form a natural border between Slovakia and Poland. They are the highest mountain range in the Carpathian Mountains. In the summer of 2009, a rock climber named Peter Kowalski captured an unexplained humanoid creature in the Tatra Mountains. When Kowalski began taping, he pans the camera towards a large rock that shows head movement. As the camera moves up the hill, a second creature becomes clearly visible. The humanoid is captured moving down the hill. After examination, the creature appears to have a uniform color, a cone-shaped head, and extremely long arms. It displays a fully functional hand, thumb, elbow, and arm movements. After heading down the hill, the camera spins up to capture the creature bent over and getting ready to move. The clip is reminiscent of similar Sasquatch videos, especially the figure filmed in the Great North documentary that appears to have a large, sloped back. Number 2. Patterson Gremlin Film the greatest Bigfoot footage of all time is the Patterson Gremlin film. 
It was captured by Roger Patterson and Robert Grimlin on October 20, 1967. On the day in question, the men were researching Sasquatch reports near Bluff Creek in California. They were on horseback and came across an overturned tree. As the pair rounded the tree, they spotted a large figure besides the creek. At the sight of the Bigfoot, Patterson's horse reared. Roger quickly untangled himself from the straps and spent about 20 seconds removing the camera from his saddlebag. By the time he began to film the creature, Patterson was 120 feet away. Roger Patterson began to run after the Bigfoot with a 16mm camera. He stopped at a difference of about 80 feet and captured the most famous section of the film. The Sasquatch looks over its right shoulder at Roger, who then falls to his knees. In the clip, the creature turns at the men a total of two times. Shortly after the final glance, the Bigfoot walks behind a grove of trees, reappears for a second, and then walks away. After much research and speculation, it has been suggested that the video shows a mature female Sasquatch at 7 foot 4 and 700 pounds. The creature in the video matches the description offered by others who have witnessed a Bigfoot. Number 1. Woodpile Thermal Video The East Texas Woodpile Thermal Video might be the best recorded evidence for the existence of Sasquatch. Christopher Knoll is an educated professional who became interested in a series of Bigfoot encounters on a property in East Texas. In 2008, a collection of sightings occurred on the property, and Knoll decided to visit the area. One evening, he built a large bonfire in hopes of attracting the creature. Previous Sasquatch videos have indicated that the animal becomes interested by large fires and loud activity. During the fire, Knoll used an infrared video camera to pan the wooded areas surrounding the trees. For those unfamiliar, an infrared camera can be used to capture heat images from flesh and blood organisms. The object becomes visible with the implementation of color. As Christopher Knoll panned the area, he noticed a large object in a woodpile near the fire. In a later description of the event, Knoll said it took him a couple takes to notice the arm because it didn't move. In the video, the Sasquatch is filmed for several seconds and shows an enormous body size. Much of the data surrounding the event was obtained only after the tape was studied. It appears that a large Bigfoot snuck up a heavily wooded ravine and watched Knoll and the other people from a concealed position. Originally, all that was noticed in the clip was the large arm. However, after research was conducted, the head, eyes, and face of the creature were located.